Trench and excavation comes with its own unique set of hazards, none more common nor more dangerous than cavens. And as with any hazard, we always look for ways to eliminate it to protect those exposed. So how can we eliminate cavens? Sloping and benching. Hi, I'm Sergio with a and Safety, and in this video, we're going to cover Appendix B and go over each maximum allowable slope and benching systems for each type of soil. Okay, let's start with a simple sloping system for type A soil and a trench depth of less than 20 feet. The maximum allowable slope is 53 degrees from the horizontal. This translates to a 0.75 horizontal to one vertical incline and is shown on the screen now. Pop quiz, what if the competent person observes material slumping from the face of the trench wall? Right, we add 0.5 to the horizontal and use the steepest actual slope. Great job. When you're working with type A soil and your trench is only open for a short time, and by a short time, I mean less than 24 hours, and it's not deeper than 12 feet, then OSHA allows for a steeper maximum allowable slope of 63 degrees from the horizontal, or 0.5 horizontal to one vertical, and it's shown on the screen now. Those are your two options for type A soil according to Appendix B. Now let's move on to type B soil. As we know, type B soil is not as stable as type A. So the incline of the slope system in type B soil would not be as great as it would be for type A soils. For type B soil in a trench depth of less than 20 feet, the steepest maximum allowable slope is 45 degrees from the horizontal. This translates to one horizontal to one vertical incline and is shown on the screen now. The incline of the slope for type C soil is the flattest since type C soil is the least cohesive and the most flowable. For type C soil in trench depth of less than 20 feet, the steepest maximum allowable slope is 34 degrees from the horizontal. This translates to one and one half horizontal to one vertical incline and is shown on the screen now. And there you have it, your maximum allowable slopes for sloping systems for each type of soil. Just remember to add 0.5 to the horizontal if you think extra protection is needed. We hope this video has given you a better understanding of what sloping and benching systems are, how they differ from one another, and how they can protect our workforce from cave-ins by essentially eliminating the hazard altogether when done correctly. If you have any questions or need assistance with your safety program, feel free to contact us using the information provided below. And we would also love to hear from you guys in the comments. Do you work with trenching and excavations? Do you prefer to slope or bench your trenches? And lastly, follow us on all social media platforms to stay updated with our latest safety tips and tricks. And as always, until next time, be safe and thank you.